Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest but what I'm going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So we're looking at Mosh Nake or Mosh Nake. Um, I'll just call it, you know, Mosh Nake. Okay. Um, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Either way, uh, this is the project we're going to be covering, you know, on the channel right now. And uh, before we go ahead and get into it, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, we do provide you a way to go ahead and do that. That information is in the description below. So um, this project has been audited, passed with no high or medium severity issues. Um, you know, as far as the pre-sale, there are several phases to the pre-sale that's going on right now. Um, I'm going to leave you a message, you know, in the Telegram, you know, in regards to it as well. Um, you can also see, you know, here in phase one, uh, 1.224.443. So a ton of money has been raised already now my issue with some of these super duper long pre-sales is that i mean it just kind of feels like you're never going to see your money again so i am never going to be a fan you know of some of these super duper long pre-sales that's not to say that there's anything wrong with them and that there aren't legitimate you know three and four round pre-sales there certainly are i'm just not a fan of it because they're just so freaking long okay so um you know, and I think that, you know, based on some of the other, you know, videos that I've done on the channel where you've got like some of these long pre-sales, there are other people that feel the same way, you know, so, um, but either way, that's just my, my little rant in regards to some of these super duper long pre-sales. And this one does have a long pre-sale. You know, there are different, you know, phases, you know, to, uh, you know, to their, to the pre-sale. Now, the team is photodoxed. Uh, no certificate of KYC has been found on this one. At least I've, I've been able to locate one. Um, if the team comes across the video and they want to go ahead and you know share uh, any kind of information regarding their KYC, if they do have it, you know I'm always receptive to engaging with teams on projects that are covered on the channel. Um, let me see here. Anything else? Nope. We're going to go ahead and um, go ahead and move into you know, the concern of red flags, you know, for me, and then we'll talk about the rest of the project, you know, so as far as any concerns and red flags for me, the TG link, you know, on uh, their Twitter social doesn't work. So when I went to their Twitter and I tried to access their telegram for their Twitter channel, that um, link on their Twitter social for their telegram did not work. Now, the one here on the main site, it does work, but the one on the Twitter did not at the time he scouted the project. Um, and I've already mentioned the several phases to the pre-sale and that no certificate of KYC had been found. So, all right, moving forward, we see this community-focused play-to-earn NFT game reviving the classic legendary snake gaming experience and uh, Moss Snake. Okay, so we can see some links, you know, here in the navigation bar. They also have, you know, a white paper. We're going to take a look at the documentation. So the first thing that I want to go to is going to be on the token distribution, but we'll just go ahead and go through it. So and I'll just show you the different you know, slides that are here and we'll come across the token distribution as we move through it. So, all right, it should be coming up here. So we see here tokenomics. All right. So we can see 50% going to the public pre-sale, 5% to the team, 10% to treasury, 15% to buyback burn, market making and staking, 5% to marketing, 5% to advisors and influencers, and 10% to the ecosystem total supply. We're looking at a billion tokens. Okay. So, um, and this is going to be, you know, they've got a Venom, you know, token, you know, as well. And um, we can see that tokens tax structure, you know, so uh, let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. Moving forward, we see uh, the roadmap here. So we've got, you know, all these different phases. You know, it's going to go into phase six. All right. So in phase one, uh, we see designing the game structure and economy, launching the website, releasing the white paper. Phase two, designing the game, the development of in-game NFT items, development of, of game tech infrastructure, development of game interface and screens. And in phase three, we're looking at the token sale. Um, let's see, the token sale listing on CMC and CG. That's all that's going on in phase three. However, um, as I've mentioned before, instead of stating that you're listing because you don't control the listing, you don't know after you go ahead and submit that application, you know, if CMC is going to list you in days, weeks, or months, you know, so I do think that, you know, what, hey, in phase three, it should be more about just stating that you're submitting your application, you know, for these platforms. And in phase four, we see internal NFT marketplace, the NFT INO, INO the game trailer. In phase five, we see march, marketing, marketing campaign, uh, partnerships, you know, with calls and uh, calls and influencers, uh, the token airdrop event. And in phase six, we see completion of the development of the PVE, 
at developing you know, PvP and further game further game development. So uh, we don't get anything that tells us there's um, you know specifically that they're doing expansion you know, on the roadmap, but we do see further game development, which would indicate to me that there's more stuff they're going to be doing at the end of the roadmap. All right. Um, we also don't get timelines. You know, when we look at this roadmap, we just get phases. You know, we don't get anything that actually states, you know, what's currently in process pending and ongoing either. So, and those are things that I tend to point, point out in regards to roadmaps, just because a lot of teams don't actually indicate them. So, and this uh, project, you know, is applicable in, in, in regards to why I am highlighting those issues, those, those items. So, uh, we see the here the treasure distribution, the not collected in treasury, will be distributed in the following format. Rewards, Venn burn, and liquidity, you know, so we can see those numbers you know, indicated here. All right, uh, and then we see here at the end, you know, we get some information in regards to the DAO. All right, moving forward, you know, on the website, so we see here this play to earn NFT game giving us some information. All right, and we see partners, we see types of the Moshnake, you know, NFTs, the Mamba, the Viper, Crate, and Cobra. All right, and then it's play to earn. So we see teamwork and tactics, connected players, surplus entertainment, and combat balance, empowered by. So we don't really need to pay much attention to that. Uh, we also see, you know, they're and they're all photo docs. You know, we get LinkedIn links, you know, names, you know, titles, and they're saying this is secure. We get the um, link here to their audit. All right, and then uh, you know we're seeing here. Just some information stating they're built on the BSC and some other things associated with that. We get the token ecosystem, you know, so like I said before, I mentioned Venom, you know, which is another token associated with the project. So, um, and this is going to be their in-game currency. Um, this is their native token, you know, the um, uh, the Moshnik token, you know, so we've already gone over that. And we see the roadmap, you know, I've already talked about the roadmap, you know, as well. And then we get the FAQ. So nothing else really to share on this one other than to go ahead and at least make you aware of the project. You know, so if this is something you're interested in engaging with, you know, as always, we don't encourage you to participate, you know, or invest in any, you know, projects that are covered on the channel. But we do know you're, engage you're engaging with, you know, crypto related content, you know, so... Um, as always, you know, if this is something you're interested in, you know, just make sure that you are getting yourself informed, you know, in regards to, you know, the project, you know, and ultimately you want to make sure that you gather or get your hands on as much information, you know, as possible, you know, in regards, you know, to the project, you know, so that you are informing yourself to the, um, you know, to the highest degree possible. You know, because obviously I think that, you know, as I've mentioned on many other videos, got too many people that go ahead and they're following hype, they're following FOMO, you know, they think something looks cool, they go ahead and they invest in it just to get wrecked, you know, so that's not the way that we want to operate, at least not in my personal opinion. You know, I think the more informed you can be, you just give yourself a chance at a better experience, you know, in crypto, you know, so... So yeah, so with that said, that's going to do it for me on this one. You know, if you're interested in supporting the channel, by all means, please, you know, engage, you know, with the, um, you know, with the information in the description in regards to how you can support the channel. And um, thank you so much for watching, you know, and with that said, ladies and gentlemen, you all enjoy the day.